So Kyle, let's start off with telling me, you are the villain in this film. What is the best part about playing the villain? The best part about playing the villain is the fun. When you have a villain, you're all, you know that you're going to bring the evil, and you know that's going to be there, and you're going to do some damage. But if you can do it in a fun way, that's the best part. Okay, and visually, this movie is so stunning. It's, it's really like the house is its own character. Yes. Can you describe the world that is built for the viewer? So the world of this film is extraordinary. Roger did this an amazing job in creating the environment. The viewer is going to be sucked right into the environment of this house and how rich it looks and how rich it feels. And you go on quite a ride. You go on quite a journey with this. And it's just amazing because I feel like this movie, when you're watching it, it's not just for really young kids, it's not just for really old kids. It kind of plays to all of these ages. Can you talk about some of the themes that are covered? There are definitely some themes in this movie that play to all ages. I think the film is ultimately built for kids like in their early teens, but there's something for everyone. I think the relationship that Jack Black has with Kate Blanchett and what they're trying to go through as adults and how they're trying to help Owen, the young man, how to try to help him understand who he is as parents struggling. I think we all struggle as parents to be able to say the right things at the right time to our children or even just people that we know, young kids, and you can see them definitely going through this process. It's one of the themes that I think is the most powerful in it. And the script is, I mean the book is fantastic, but the script must have been so interesting to you. What hooked you when you read it? I love the script. I love the book, the original book that John Belairs wrote, and I thought this is something that could be a very powerful and interesting story. Um, I was enjoying the journey of the character that I play, Isaac Izzard, and watching him go from, uh, you know, great potential as a fantastic magician, um, you know, open-hearted, um, sort of beautiful soul, and going through a very bad situation in the war and being transformed and deciding against his better nature to take a darker path and he turns into this evil warlock but he still brings the twinkle and the charm and the charisma he absolutely does and <laughs> speaking of some twinkle and charm owen is incredible in the movie yeah. can you talk about working with him he oh, working with owen is unbelievable he's like a sprite he's like this fantastic little energized creature um so much fun so smart so um, capable and so aware of everyone around him. He's an incredibly thoughtful person and just, just a beautiful soul. And I have to ask, since you played this amazing magician, are there certain magic tricks that you just love performing or is there a magic trick that you always grew up with that you wanted to learn and you haven't had a chance to? Uh, there are certain magic tricks that I love. I'm gonna make myself disappear in just a few minutes. But before I do that, um, I, I love magic. I enjoy magic. I like being fooled. I think sleight of hand, is the most compelling of anything because you could look at it a hundred times and you never see how it's done. Good, ma good magic is pretty extraordinary. And speaking about this, this amazing world with all of this extraordinary magic, right. when you walked on the set and you saw all of this fantastical stuff, what made you just step back and say, oh my gosh, wow, this is awesome? I mean, I, it started from the very beginning when I was going in to be fit for the prosthetics and the whole process that I had. I went into the shop where they were building all the automatons and I was watching what they were making with the pumpkins that turn out, come alive. And I watched these guys make these extraordinary things and I was like, this is going to be something pretty magical, pretty special.